What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will with the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and take a look at that. Tell me that is not gorgeous. Man, hit like just because that is gorgeous. Look at that full moon. This is November 17th. It's Sunday night. Had a good weekend. That, of course, is the Maven rocket or the Maven uh, satellite, which is going to be going to Mars. Look at that. That's the Atlas V rocket. That thing is going to take it. Woo! That's a heck of a rocket right there. Uh, Warner Von Brown would be proud of that rocket right there. Um, anyway, so basically had a good weekend this weekend. And uh, excited tomorrow, the launch for this. Uh, I hope you guys had a good weekend as well. Tomorrow at 1.28 Eastern Standard Time, NASA is going to be sending this up from Cape Canaveral. We're going to find out if she's going to go to Red Planet or not. We've had a lot of success putting uh, things into Martian orbit, actually landing things on Mars. Uh, the United States has done a really good job with it. And uh, this, what's neat about this, this is they're going to actually be sending this up along with uh, India's craft. Now, India's craft is in near-Earth orbit, near orbit, and it's got itself ready to go. Basically, it needs a slingshot around on December 1st, and it's just going to take off. It'll be traveling along with Maven up to it. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Maven's not going to give us pictures like I like to do over my channel with the anomalies and say, oh, this looks different or this looks good. What's this? This looks man-made or the pictures that look like water pictures and the ones that look like trees and stuff like that. Um, the ones that are trees, the ones that are water. Come check out the channel and you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, this thing right here, man, this is going to be giving us some information about uh, radiation, solar radiation, uh, methane, all sorts of stuff it's going to have. But the Indian one I'm really excited about because they're going to be sending back pictures. And it's going to be very comparable to High Rise. I checked out some of the schematics that you can find online. And uh, Mars Express, it's going to look it's just going to look pretty good. So India's going to, hopefully they're going to be showing us the goods. I tell you what, guys, we're rooting for you over here. Even though there's not a lot of you know, press releases and stuff going on from uh, from the United States media. But we're watching. The people over here are watching, especially the space enthusiasts. We're watching. Um, but tomorrow, Maven, excited. Look, we're gonna so let's check out what NASA has to say today. Forecasters from the U.S. Air Force 45th Weather Squadron continue to predict a 60% chance of favorable weather to the launch of NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution Maven spacecraft at 1:28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Monday from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Space Launch Complex 41. Maven is scheduled to lift off atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V at the beginning of two-hour launch window. Teams are working no technical issues, and the countdown is targeted to pick up from T-minus six hours. Monday, so that's basically going to be at 6.28 a.m. on Monday. So pretty cool. Let's take a look at some of these right here as it goes through. I'll tell you a little about what I did this weekend. Today was pretty neat. Um, if you guys, if you're not used to my channel, I talk a lot about myself. And my name's Will. And uh, my girlfriend Ann and I went up to this color run. And why we go watch these go? Look at these guys right here. We spent a lot of your money. Here's what we spend it on. Um, <laughs> but we went to a color run. It was in Baltimore, Maryland. It's pretty neat. It, they basically you wear white and stuff like that. And then uh, we had our daughters and a whole bunch of our friends. And it benefits cancer. So and, and actually it's a charity that benefits colorrun.com. It's neat. We basically take they take uh, M&T Stadium where the Ravens play and Camden Yards where the Orioles play, and it turns it into a bunch of colors of paint and stuff. They have this like non. Uh, it's not really like liquid paint, but it's like uh, powder paint. It's almost kind of like makeup or chalk. Seems like chalk that's been you can like hit it off. It was all over everything. By the time you're done, you're like 40 different colors. So it's like a 5K run or a walk. And every station there's a new color. So basically, as you run through, they just nail you with these colors. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a good calls. And at the end, after they've gotten you with all these colors, there's like this big dance party and stuff. Everybody's dancing. They got their uh, it's crazy. They got colors everywhere. I just got home. It took forever to get some of the stuff off. I didn't even do it. My uh, Anna did it. I got pictures of her. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put a little video up of it. Just kind of neat. And I'm gonna give a little publicity. Hopefully you guys will check it out. Colorrun.com. But there she is going on up, and that that just sits right above it. Um, I'd much rather see that on top of that than some sort of killing machine or warhead. I tell you what. These rockets should never be used for stuff like that. We need to get off this planet. If we want to survive as a species, we need to leave this planet. Look around. I mean, we can dig down in the ground and see that we're not going to live forever. So it's, if we're going to have to ever become something, we all need to come together. And I'm one for peace. I hate war and stuff like that. It's time we all put our, our, our crap aside and figure out what to do to make this thing last forever, you know. But anyway, guys, I'm not even getting into that. It's been a great weekend. Um, hope you have a good week this week. I'll be back. i got a lot of anomaly videos. I've been on the moon lately. I've been having a moon kick. A um, whole bunch of good sites out there. I've been looking at Richard Hoagland's site. I've been looking at, uh, what's the other one, The Living Moon. That one's awesome. 
Um, as always, Mars Anomaly Research. But I'm going to get back to my Mars stuff. i got some really good stuff coming up. Plus, i still got a UFO video I'm doing. This girl, she keeps sending me more and more. This lady from uh, the United States, she gets these things are following her. It's crazy. So I'm going to put it on. I mean, it's not crazy. It's, it's interesting to see. So I, I want to show it to you guys. She wants to know what's going on. Maybe you guys have had this similar stuff. That's going to come up this week. I'll say I, gotta, you know, I can only do this a couple hours a night, an hour a night, stuff like that. I work full time. So I do as much as I possibly can. And this is like a second job to me anyway. Like I said, I got the AdSense on it, and I love doing it. It takes forever to upload some of this stuff, but, you know, I do it. I love you guys. I love to hear myself talk. That's what you know how it goes. <laughs> Much love, guys. Take it easy. Let's go, NASA. I'll be back tomorrow. Let you know what happens. You know, we'll be following it. What's up in the sky at 37? Peace.